Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Math Math Dali. In this video, we're going to talk about joint variation. This is example number 3. D varies jointly with E and F. And if F is 18 when D is 144 and E is 16, find F when D is 24 and E is 16. First, we take a look at the given statement. We will write the given statement into equation. As I said earlier, whenever we are rewriting the equation, the first letter that comes first will be the first letter you need to write. D is or D varies jointly with E and F. K always stands for the constant term. Just like in direct and inverse variation, we solve first for the value of K based on the given. We have here F as 18, D is 144, and E is 16. So we just need to substitute these values to here so that we are going to be, to be able to solve for the value of K. 144 is equal to K, E is 16 times 18. 16 times 18 will give you 288, and 288 times K is 288K is equals to 144. We divide both sides by 288 for us to be able to isolate K. And K here is equals to 1 half. We can use 1 half or we can also use 0.5. And then afterwards, we go back to the given equation or the given situation. Find F when D is 24 and E is 16. We go back here with the equation. But this time around, we are going to change the value of K into 0.5 or 1 half. I prepare working with decimal. D is equals to 0.5 E F. For the second statement we need to find f when d is 24 and e is 16 so we just need to substitute 24 is equals to 0 0.5 times 16 times f 0 0.5 times 16 will give you 8 10 times multi or multiply it by f we have 8f is equals to 24 so for us to be able to find the value of 8 uh, to find the value of f we need to divide both sides by 8 so that we can isolate F. And 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. Remember, whenever we are working with joint variation, we first change the given statement into equation. Take note that the first letter in the given statement will be the first letter you need to write and then the others will follow. Whenever we are talking about joint variation, it simply means that we need to multiply everything. That's why we have here KEF. And then afterwards, we solve for the value of K from the given second statement. And then we substitute after finding the value of K. We proceed with the third statement or with the with what is being asked, find f when d is 24 and e is 16. We rewrite the given equation, but this time around, we change k into the value of k we have earlier, which is 0.5. And as I said, we can also use 1 half, but I prepared using the um, decimal number and e and f. Then, D is equal to 24 and E is 16. We just change or substitute D and E. That's why we have here 24 and 16. We solve 0. 0.5 times 16 will give us 8. And multiply it by F, that's why we have 8F. We divide both sides by 8 so that we can isolate F. And 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. That's all for this video. Thank you.